posted whenever you're watching this. Today, I am really looking forward to this video. I'm gonna be doing a reset routine, which I've seen doing the rounds on TikTok for ages, doing like a Sunday reset. But a reset routine is basically just a day that you dedicate to getting your life back on track a little bit, especially if things have been getting a little bit out of control. <laughs> and in the spirit of organization, today's video is very kindly being sponsored by Opera, which is an internet browser that you can use to help you get yourself organized as well. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that now in case you wanna try it for yourself, so let's go. Okay, let me tell you about Opera, which is my new obsession for getting organized. Opera is a web browser with built-in VPN integrated messengers, music player, pin boards, and so much more. I've even downloaded it on my work laptop so I can log into my Spotify and control it from the web page. This is gonna make it so much easier for me to pause my music when I need to without scrambling for my phone. <laughs> Opera makes it really easy to check your messages from Facebook, WhatsApp, and even browse your Instagram feed while you're scrolling through the web. But by far my favorite thing about Opera and what I think is most handy for getting organized is the pin board function. I'm new to this but I'm really enjoying it. You can collect anything from around the web, pictures, links, files and notes, and you can store them all in one place and make different pin boards to categorize them. Add details to them and share them with your friends and it's a great way to cluster all of your inspiration all in one place. Okay, I wanna quickly show you how I actually use this in my real life. So I saved this blog post about how to make these faux Snickers bars with dates. And basically you get some pitted dates, you cut them in half, put a little bit of peanut butter in the middle, and then some melted dark chocolate and some cracked sea salt. That is where the magic comes in. You have to do the sea salt and then you put them in the freezer and they are so good. I cannot explain to you how good they are. You have to try them for yourself. They're amazing. Opera is completely free to use. It's super easy. And if you'd like to download it or check it out for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for you to go and have a look. Thanks so much for watching and let's get back to the video. Now that we've done that, I am really fired up to get a little bit more organized. So let's start with a to-do list. You might know this by now, but I love a good to-do list. It helps me keep on track with my objectives for the day. And it means that I'm just not gonna get led astray because sometimes it's very easy to find something really interesting and get involved in that for like four or five hours and forget what I'm doing. I'm writing mine down on pen and paper today so I can take it around the flat with me while I'm doing stuff. I also really love the feeling of like crossing something off once it's done. Now that that's done, I'm gonna do a quick tidy around the flat just to get it in order. I'm just gonna brush up a little bit to make myself feel somewhat more organized. <laughs> I'll be honest, sometimes I really struggle to get the motivation to get started on a task, especially if it's something that I don't actually have to do right now this very second. So I've been using the Pomodoro method. The Pomodoro method basically, if you haven't used it before, is just a timer method. So you set 25 minutes and you have a timer go off when that 25 minutes is over and that signals to you that you can finish. No matter what you've managed to do, if you wanna finish then, you can, and then you can have a five minute break. I always shock myself with how much I managed to get done in 25 minutes. I feel like this has completely refreshed the space. It might not be perfect, it's not a deep clean, but it's tidy. Someone is leaf blowing outside, I do apologize. <laughs> On that note, 
it's on to the next task. I've got to run some quick errands and get some groceries before I tackle my fridge because I really want to organize my fridge. <laughs> So this is the current state of my fridge. You know what, it's been worse, but it just needs a quick clean and an organization refresh. If you haven't seen it, a few months ago, I posted an Instagram reel where I redid the whole fridge and I got loads of organizational systems. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I'm trying to do a lot more reels and things at the moment that you won't see on YouTube. So if you wanna do that, at Hermione Chantal. So I'm gonna give the fridge a quick clean and I'm gonna reorganize it and show you what it looks like. If you have never gotten storage for your fridge and completely organized it, I personally think you don't have to go all out Pinterest aesthetic perfect fridge organization, but I do recommend getting some open containers that you can slide in and out because I really, really think this helps you categorize food. And for me personally, if I don't see it or don't know where it is in the fridge, sometimes it does tend to go off because I'll forget about it and I want to eliminate as much food waste as possible. So it has really been helping me see what's in my fridge more clearly and it keeps it somewhat more organized. It's not perfect, but it's, it's better. <laughs> Look how much better it is. So these are the boxes. And it's so easy to just get what I need and then organize them by type of food. I put on the top shelf all the things I need to eat ASAP so they don't go off so I can see them when I look in the fridge. On to the next thing. I found this in the fridge. Oh, that's good. My next job is to do a quick assessment of my clothing situation. Now that the sun is kind of coming out in the UK, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but I think it's time to assess what I didn't wear in the winter and declutter it and see what I've got in my summer wardrobe. I like to do this twice a year to keep on top of my clothing when the seasons change. I think it keeps me in check and it means that my wardrobe is never overflowing too much despite the way it looks, but that's because the door is broken. <laughs> when you're decluttering seasonally, when you put your clothes back in the wardrobe, turn the hangers around the other way, and then when you go to put things back, once you've worn them, turn it the way you normally would and put it in. At the end of the season, anything that isn't put back in the way you normally put it hasn't been worn, so you can safely declutter it. This is the finished wardrobe. I'm so glad I did this. I can actually move the hangers around here. It's not completely chock-a-block anymore. At the bottom here, I have some sweaters and this is for travel bags. But this is what it looks like and it's great to see only my spring and summer clothes in here. I feel a lot lighter after doing that. It, it does feel good. <laughs> I got a little carried away while I was doing that though and I want to show you a couple of things I bought recently because it's all under the realm of organisation and I've done this in a very ASMR style so if you like that maybe you'll like this. The first thing is I got a new makeup case which arrived yesterday I was really excited about it let me show you putting it together. So this is the case. I was actually looking for a new beauty bag and it came across this one. As you could see, 
it's got a lid that doubles as a mirror with a light and it like stands up and you can swivel it around and it, it's really handy. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. I enjoyed that. I also did the same with my toiletries bag. I was looking for a new one for traveling and I happened to stumble into Muji, which is always a terrible idea because I got a bit carried away. So let me show you what I got. <laughs> doing this ASMR style. As long as it doesn't have any whispery sounds in it, we're good. Anyway, as you can see, I put together a little toiletries bag. I do need to put a few more things in here, but this is what I got for my little Muji haul. And this is the most fun thing. I know I'm using the word fun incorrectly because I'm about to talk about cotton sticks, but <laughs> I found this little business card holder and it perfectly fits all of the sticks in it. So I thought I would do that so I can take them when I go on a little trip to visit friends or to go home. Let's move on to the next thing. I took a quick break to sort out my nails after catching sight of how bad they were in some of the footage I just filmed. And it made me think that having a reset day sometimes also means having a little bit of time to pamper yourself and take care of the self-care things that you also need to do. But at least my nails look nice now. A quick last minute organisation of my electrical equipment. I've been storing some of it in this basket, which I think I've overloaded a little bit. I need to fix that, but I'm going to put this elsewhere because I need more space for it. I have half an empty drawer, which is more than enough space for my camera stuff and all my tights, apparently. come to the end that was my reset routine well I say routine but I think a reset is whatever you make of it and for me it was the perfect balance today of getting organized running a few errands and doing things I needed to do it's gonna be different depending on what you need to do and how much time you have to do it I know having a full day to yourself to do these things sometimes can be very difficult but do let me know in the comments down below if you have a reset day coming up, what are you going to do? What things do you really need to prioritise at the moment? Let me know. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Happy resetting and I'll see you next time. Bye.